Hi everyone, I'm back. I'm uh, here to share some more uh, insights with you today. Uh, today I'm going to talk about thinking about, you know, what's the best camera for the project that you've got coming up next. I think it's really important to pick something that's going to be practical, suitable within a, you know, particular budget range. So here are a few things I thought um, you should consider um, when thinking about what you're going to shoot with. So firstly, uh, how much money have you got to spend? So what's your actual budget for this camera? Um, is, I mean, is that going to last for a, a week, a month? How long are you going to shoot for? So think about your budget. Think about what you've got to spend on the actual camera. Um, are you going to hire it also? Or are you going to buy it outright? Um, my recommendation is always, if possible, uh, to buy it outright if you can get the money together just because it then becomes a, a long-term investment in your career in what you're wanting to make in terms of films. Okay, so my first thing is then if you're thinking about what kind of camera is right for your next film, and um, think about what kind of money you've got to spend on it, what kind of budget range is it within. Uh, secondly, um, I'd, I'd also think about what kind of project that you actually want to produce. What is it? Is it going to be a feature film, a short film? Is it going to be a music video or commercial? Uh, each of those mediums, you know, kind of require something that that suits the the medium that you're working with. But of course, you can you can you can go always go against that, you know. Uh, but again, I I'd, I'd, I'd kind of think uh, in practical terms, what kind of project are you going to produce next, and you know how suitable is that camera for it. Uh, thirdly, uh, also really important is the the visual aspects of the image. Uh, the aesthetics of the image that you're going to be kind of working with. How do you want the film to look? Uh, consider that. Try and imagine that in your mind. You know, compare it to maybe other films that you've seen out there. What do you want your film to look like uh, visually? You know, what kind of color palette do you have there? So again, not only is it important that you think about the the actual um, uh, camera budget range but also how you want it to look that's also really important and um, my fourth point here is that you should um, go and have a look at research the various cameras within your price range and oh and what's going to give you the right kind of look what's within the right kind of price range um, so go and research and have a look at what's out there and um, eBay is always a good place to start if you don't mind buying secondhand or just um, you know, look at some of those um, companies that sell cameras that are also brand new as well as um, second hand, and and really try and work out which 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 one you prefer if you've got any kind of preference. Once you've looked at the the technical aspects of it and also the kind of visual image it, it can give you, um, and then finally, what kind of um, camera might be the most practical for your project? So what I mean by that is. Um, do you want something like a DSLR? Do you want something really light and small and quick to move around? Or are you happier with having something that's a lot bulkier, say like a RED camera? Or somewhere in the middle, something like an Ursa? Or an ARRI, which is also a heavy camera. Um, it gives you a certain look uh, visually, but it, it's a heavy beast to, to move around as, um, as a camera to shoot with. Okay, so those are my, my five points I wanted to cover today, just very briefly. Uh, when you're thinking about what you're gonna, what camera you're gonna use for your next project, so money is important. As I say, um, uh, the kind of project you're gonna produce, uh, do your research, look at what's out there. Um, what kind of camera will be, is in is also what what, is, what kind of camera is gonna be the most practical. Okay, thanks very much. I'll see you again next time. Thanks for listening. See ya.